Did your website just get penguin slapped? Well, don't worry. I'm going to talk about the new Google Penguin 2.0 update that was released on May 22nd, 2013, and what you need to know and more importantly, do about uh, penguin proofing your business. But before I do that, let's back up a little bit and talk about Google Panda and Penguin and what they are and their purposes. And believe it or not, Google's not out to kill or harm your small business website. They're, they're out to provide the best user experience and actually harm SEO agencies and small businesses who use disingenuous, spammy link building and SEO techniques. Google Panda targets low quality websites. So huge link farms and spammy sites that have duplicate content and low quality pages on their sites. The actual websites themselves are targeted. Well, the series of Penguin updates targets low quality link profiles. So that's getting tons of links from article directories or blog comments or other spammy outsourced or low quality techniques and using the same anchor text um, is one of the big things that you'll see out there. So if, if you're getting all your links that say Chicago bankruptcy lawyer, that's not how humans really behave. And if all your links are going to your homepage, that's not how humans behave. So Google is going to continue to push the envelope. And instead of going against the wave, you need to turn around and ride that wave to better results. So let's talk about how to do that. The Google Penguin update, that, again, that was released on May 22nd of this year was the biggest update in over a year since Penguin 1.0 came out April of 2012. And what it targeted was paid text links. So people that are, that are using paid link tactics, websites that are selling, do follow, or basically links where the link juice passes on and letting people buy those links. That's bad. That's not how people really link. It also targets comment spam. So people that go to blogs, as I mentioned, leaving comments like your blog looks good with a link back to their site, bad stuff, guest posting on questionable sites, article marketing sites. So if you or your SEO agency is still using article marketing sites, just do not do that. Focus on quality content, links from dangerous sites. So low quality, like adult gambling um, sites that are known and indexed by Google as being spam, that's bad. So let's talk about what you can do to penguin-proof your website. Here are the quick eight things you need to be doing. Number one, remove as many low-quality links as you can. You can use Google's Disavow tool, which you can just Google. There's actually a link uh, to it in this article. But remove the low-quality links. So if you or your SEO company has built low-quality links using the tactics I mentioned, you can actually tell Google you don't want credit for those. You actually come clean and you want to clear those off your plate. Matt Cutts recently said you should use a machete to remove bad links instead of a scalpel, which means most sites that have been doing anything like this need to seriously clean house. The second thing, focus on quality content that answers questions and answers of your real target audience. So the, the gap between fooling search engines and reaching your customers is closing every day, and that's all Google's trying to do. What that means is focus your marketing efforts just like you would have before the internet existed on reaching real people that are going to do business with you. Don't try to get links for Google's sake. Go on the real business directories. Join the real discussions and forums and groups and groups on LinkedIn and Facebook and join discussions with your target audience where they're likely to be. You place links to your business where you're going to reach real people. And then number three is syndicate your content. So don't just publish high quality content that speaks to the needs of your audience and leave it on your blog. Push it out to social media sites. Google's algorithms do factor social signals more strongly every day. So you need to make sure that when you publish content, you put it out to Facebook, syndicate it to Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever your audience is likely to hang out. The next one is seek links from relevant quality sites focusing on humans, as I mentioned. So relevance is that it's not about the number of links anymore. I've actually seen search results where businesses are coming up better that have three or four links from really high quality sites. So if you're a lawyer and you have strong links from publications that you've published or really reputable sites like Cornell or Law Info or Nolo.com or Avo.com, those fewer quality links are going to actually help you outrank sites that have two or 3,000 links using those shotgun techniques that have worked so well in the past that Google's just slicing off at the head, lopping off at the head. Build a deep link profile. So this is really important. And this is, again, I'm not saying that you as the business owner are going to be doing all this work, but if you have an agency, you need to make sure that they understand this strategy. A deep link profile is that people should be linking, other websites should be linking to your article pages, your content, not just your homepage. 
a link profile should look very natural and be natural in the sense where your inbound links are going to all different pages on your site, not just your homepage. That's called deep linking. Ensure a natural human anchor text mix. Anchor text is simply the actual words in a hyperlink, the keywords or phrase in a hyperlink to your site. So if it says, click here to learn more about ice cream and that links to your site, that would be anchor text. Well, you don't want all your anchor text to be keyword focused. That's a sign of bad SEO as well. So if all the links to your site say Chicago bankruptcy lawyer, that's not good. You're, the way real people will link, they'll say things like click here or homepage. So you, I've actually only 20 to 30% of the links coming to your site should have those keywords. The rest of them should be just natural or random. And again, when you go get links, just think from a human perspective and, and using the right the right language to reach your audience and don't worry so much about SEO. I know that's counterintuitive, but that's what works. The next uh, item in Penguin proving your site is be sure you've claimed your Google authorship and business pages. There's a link again in this article at geekfree.net. If you have yet to claim your Google authorship and link that to your WordPress site, you're missing out on a whole, not only a whole lot of SEO trust that comes with that, but actual click throughs. If you've noticed headshots, when you search for something on Google, that simply means they've linked their Google plus page to their website and their website to the Google plus authorship page. And that's it. The same for creating a business page. You need to not only create a business page on Google plus, but get reviews. I know Google plus is new and you probably still have yet to figure out Facebook um, or if social media plays a role, but at very at the very minimum, you need to do these things. And lastly, you need to get more reviews on Google Plus and other sites. Because Google is moving local businesses such as law firms or any brick and mortar business to the Google local section of the search results where they show the maps, reviews are a key component in ranking. So citations and reviews really affect where you rank in that Google and those Google Maps. Obviously, where you're located matters a lot, the physical address of your business, but having a strong number of reviews and having a program in place to get reviews, which we link to also in this article, as well as citations. So make sure you're listed on on Merchant Circle and Yelp and yellowpages.com and City Search and all the main strong, trusted local directories And you'll be sure to come up higher on the local results as well. So those are the eight tips to penguin proofing your site. Please leave a comment and let me know if there are any tactics you're using or trends that you're seeing that I might not have covered here. Let's all grow together on this. Thanks and take care.